हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण दिस इज चेतन माझी फाउंडर ऑफ सिविल निर्माण इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अनदर कॉन्सेप्चुअल थिंग इन विच मोस्टली स्टूडेंट्स गेट कंफ्यूज्ड मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव कंफ्यूजन अबाउट स्लैब टू बी मॉडल एज अ प्लेट एलिमेंट और शुड बी अप्लाइड एज अ फ्लोर लोड विच ऑप्शन इज बेटर आइदर to model slab as a plate or define your slab as a flow load and give it as a master node with master slave command so we will also understand the importance of master slave command as well first thing as i mentioned you can model your slab either by plate element or utilizing the flow load command with the master node specification in building structures the floor and roof slabs have a high stiffness for lateral movements modeling those slabs using element it would means a large number of plate elements like this and if you have multiple floors then there will be complications in your stat model modeling those slab using elements would mean a large number of elements would be needed if there are many floors it means it will create too many complications in your stat model now to reduce the size of the model the master slave feature can be used to rigidly link the various joints of the respective floors for lateral displacement that is in the x z plane right and rotation about the vertical axis while the in plane stiffness of the slab is considered their bending stiffness is set to 0 for the analysis so master slave is a tool to create a smaller model by avoiding using hundreds of plate elements to represent the slab in the structure If you have already modeled the slab using plate elements then there is no need to use master slave specification right so you can model your slab using both the parameters in case of master slave all the nodes will behave in the same manner to the master slave node it is used to simulate a rigid diaphragm behavior that is common to the ac structure right that is the rigid diaphragm action of the slab now master slave command is provided to model in plane rigidity of the slab in reality in the rcc structures when the rc slab is provided now master slave command is provided to model in plane rigidity of the slab in reality when rc slab is provided it ties the columns and beam system rigidly like this you can see over here in figure this is the representation of the master slave in stat this system will distribute the lateral force in proportion to the stiffness of the column at the same time displacement of all points in plane of slab will be same in case of the master slave now if we don't provide master slave command it means if we did not model in plane stiffness of the slab then force distribution will not be proper and this can cause force concentration in some of the columns and it may be the reason of over design of the some columns right so while giving master slave command we need to create additional nodes at the center of gravity or what we can see cg of the each floor this node will be assigned as master node and other nodes will be assigned as slave nodes slave direction should be in the same plane right so in case of stat we have x z plane now when there is a cut out in the plane of slab then we have to judge whether the slab is providing enough stiffness to the beam column framing or not if it is providing enough stiffness then and only then we can provide master slave command so you can see i have provided a model over here and let me show you how it will look in the actual structure so let's look out that so in this particular building i have consider floor load in order to apply the slab load let me just show you over here see this is applied as a floor load and additionally we have given the master slave command to the nodes now shift l is the shortcut to check out the master slave you can see over here right there is a center point let me sh show you right now see it's not necessary that your your master node should be at the center it can be near to the cg point as well then also it will fine but you need to provide your master's node 
at nearer to the CG point in your stat file right for that particular you can go to the specification tab node add master slave and likewise you can assign master node at each particular floor right in order to assign the master slave specification for that particular you have to provide the master slave command at all floors like you can see over here right so that's how you can utilize your master slave command in structure and over here we don't have model any slab instead we have provided slab in terms of floor load it means we have not model slab over here instead we have applied the slab load in terms of floor load that will be distributed in terms of the yield line theory behavior now let's look out the second point right now in the second point what is the option you have you have the option that you can model your structure utilizing the plate elements right so in that particular as you can observe over here model all slab with plate elements each slab should be bounded by four beams as a single rectangular element as you can see over here yes also specify all those plates as plane stress elements so that's how if you don't want to go for flow load you can model your slab in terms of plate elements and provide the thickness over here so that's the second option you can go with but as i mentioned modeling those slabs using plate elements it would mean a large number of elements that would create in terms of plate at several floors now to reduce that particular complication in your structure we generally avoid to model your slab as a plate you can go with this option as well now see modeling the slab with plate elements are absolutely okay but we need to take care of the meshing size for providing the adequate stiffness to the beams and columns and it will automatically take care of in plane stiffness of the slabs okay so that's how you can utilize this particular option as well now see some students have questions that can we model slab in terms of four noded plates only right that means you don't need to specify beams over here so over here my answer is no you cannot model slab as four noded plates only okay now the reason behind this is this will not satisfy your compatibility conditions in this case load will be transferred at the four joints only as there is no node in the span of beam it is free to bend and this will not be the case in case of slab okay so in the clear manner if i want to say that you if you want to model your structure utilizing the plate elements it should be bounded with the beam as you can see over here so in short if you model your slab in terms of plates then it should be bounded by the beam as shown over here and second option is your master slave now see one important thing to take care over here in case of master slave we need to consider in plane stiffness only so when you provide master slave consider the in plane stiffness in terms of fx and fz only in this case we are providing in place stiffness now if you go with the rigid in that particular case out of plane stiffness will be also considered right basically slab will provide in plane stiffness only hence we should not go for the rigid option so you should go with the fx and fz only in case of master slave don't go with the rigid option now let me show you the another building sample model which is created with utilizing the plate elements so you can create your structure like this using the plate element as well let me show you the 3d over here now see this particular structure is created utilizing the plate elements right so you can model your structure like this as well so both options are compatible it is dependent on engineer as well how he wants to model his structures right you can see over here the structure is modeled with plate elements and also the shear wall is modeled right but in case of plate elements as i mentioned you need to take care that all panels should be covered with the beam as well you can't model plate in terms of four noded plates that's the point you should keep in mind so i hope this fundamental helps
let me show you the properties for the thickness of the slab now let me show you over here you can see this is the plate thickness provided over here 125 mm thickness of slab so you can model your structure like this as well i hope this fundamental will help you that which option you can go right if you don't want to go for the complex structural modeling you can prefer the flow load options okay many engineers also prefer the flow load option in which we are not modeling slab we just distribute the slab load in terms of flow load and then we go for the master slave specification and over here i have mentioned also mentioned the importance of master slave specification so i hope this is helpful to you out of this two which option you can choose right if you have any confusion place your confusion in the comment box thank you stay connected for more updates